Hey there, everybody. Pete here from Sea of Tranquility. Welcome to another edition of What's Hot with Sea of Tranquility, the show where we take a look at all sorts of new releases in the worlds of heavy metal, all forms of metal, hard rock, classic rock, progressive rock, jazz fusion. We cover a wide variety of things here on the channel. So today we're going to look at a pretty cool reissue. We just looked at another one from this band just like, what, two weeks ago? Esoteric Recordings is doing a bang-up job of reissuing these bebop deluxe albums in deluxe formats here we've got the fifth and final album from the band drastic plastic okay released originally in 1978 bill nelson and company here we have a two disc set the original album in the original stereo mix with a bunch of bonus tracks as well as the new stereo mix of the album with additional bonus tracks pretty cool stuff let's take a look at the package here so here we got like i said digipack digibook whatever you want to call this let's open this whole bad boy up you got guys in the band here right okay you got the two discs let's pull out that booklet let's find that booklet here we go it's in the front flap okay let's see what we got here So, of course, loads of photographs and information about the album. A nice essay. More photographs, all sorts of stuff. Uh, let me give you more information on the essay and what have you. So, uh, we got from uh, Bill Nelson himself, October of 2020. A nice little dissertation from him about uh, his memories of the album. And uh, anything else here I can possibly tell you. All right, so um, let's see. Uh, the Recordings Edition. Conceived, compiled, researched, and coordinated by Mark Powell. Additional coordination by Vicki Powell for Esoteric Recordings. Remastered from the original master tapes by Ben Wiseman. Okay, at uh, Broad Lake Studios in uh, Hertfordshire. New stereo mixes by Stephen W. Taylor at uh, Chimera Arts in Box Wilshire. Design and artwork by Phil Smee at Waldo's Design, uh, so on and so forth. So uh, there you have some of the uh, the main info, okay, on the remaster and what have you. Let's uh, let's talk about this album a little bit. So like I mentioned, this is the final uh, Bebop Deluxe album, released in 1978. Bill Nelson on all sorts of guitars, lead vocals. You've got Andy Clark on keyboards and synthesizers. You've got Charlie Tumahai on bass guitar, backing vocals, and Simon Fox on drums and loops. So if you're familiar at all with Bebop Deluxe, kind of a, a really interesting band to try and classify uh, because every album was really different than the one that came before it. Yeah, they have kind of got their roots in a little bit of glam rock you know kind of think uh you know iggy and the stooges and maybe sweet that sort of thing uh and then they moved into kind of like progressive rock they threw little bits of blues a little bits of jazz then they kind of um you know embrace the kind of electronic scene you know the german expressionist electronic scene here as the 70s kind of coming to a close they put out this album which almost kind of predates you know what we would soon see from like you know the talking heads and blondie and the cars it's almost kind of like pre-new wave post-punk but still with little bits of kind of prog and glam in there some spectacular guitar work throughout this discography and still on this album even though this is less of a guitar album than i think uh the the ones that came before it are definitely more keyboard driven there still is some pretty electric playing from mr nelson who is one of the most underrated guitar players of all time i mean this guy is absolutely fantastic uh some really great songs on here the the original album has 11 tracks uh electrical language great song New Precision, New Mysteries, Surreal Estate, Love and Flames, Panic in the World, good, good rocker. Again, it's got that kind of like what we would soon call new wave, maybe post-punk thing going on, pretty manic. Danger Stranger, really good song, good uh, vocal harmonies on that. You got uh, Super Enigmatic, Visions of Endless Hopes, another cool song. You got Possession, and then the album ends with the uh, Islands of the Dead, which is another great track with some sizzling guitar solos 
Um, you know, I, I kind of think uh, some of the guitar playing on this album, and you know, all their albums actually, but you know, on some of the solos you hear on this album, I kind of think a little bit of like Mick Taylor from The Stones, uh, maybe a little Carlos Santana, but a little more technical, and certainly the kind of stuff we would hear from Prince, like later, much later on, right? Just really lyrical, tasty, melodic, but yet pretty, pretty technical uh, guitar soloing from Mr. Nelson. Here you got some bonus tracks. You got Japan, you got uh, Futurist Manifesto, which are both the uh, A and B sides of the single, uh, released in 1977, so predating the album itself. You've got Blue is a Jewel, uh, B side of a single, also released uh, in, in this one, January 1978. Then you've got uh, a bunch of tracks recorded at Villa St. George's. Juan Les Pins in May and June 1977, mixed at the Manor Studio August 77 for an intended EP, which actually never happened. You've got Autosexual, Face in the Rain, Lovers Are Mortal, Blimps, Speed of the Wind, and Quest for the Harvest of the Stars. So a ton of bonus material on this edition. And that's only on the original disc the original stereo mix okay so that's basically the remastered version of the original album with all sorts of bonus material over on the second disc you've got drastic plastic with the new stereo mix i don't know if i can tell a hell of a lot of difference between the two all right maybe it's a tad brighter i don't know they sound pretty identical to me with all the 11 tracks that i mentioned before but some different uh bonus tracks so here you've got panic in the world okay which is a song from the album here you have the single edit so it's a little bit shorter uh that was a, an a side okay from january 1978 then you've got uh, the single version of electrical language okay you've got uh, love and flames the single version okay this is the a and b sides of the single released uh Har on harvest may of 1978 then you've got uh a a different take, an alternate take, number four to be exact, of Islands of the Dead with a little bit different guitar solo. It's pretty cool. And then you've got a um, another um, track from the uh, Villa St. George's sessions, The Saxophonist, which again has some absolutely face-melting and just gorgeous soloing from Bill Nelson. Really cool stuff. Uh, I mean, you know, this... I mean, I'll be... I'll be frank, this is my least favorite of the Bebop Deluxe albums, always has been. But I am really starting to warm up to it. Uh, it's really eclectic and different, all their albums are. But um, it's a good one. There, I know people who like this, this is their favorite out of all of them. And that's cool too. Uh, I prefer the kind of more rockin', slightly progressive stuff of the earlier part of their career and the more guitar oriented, but there's still some really good guitar playing on this album. And it's a good one, but it's a very upbeat, bright, and listenable album, which I think is really cool. And like I said, I think it predates a lot of stuff that we would come to know in pop music and new wave music, um, you know, over the next couple of years. And here this came out in 1978. So pretty cool, actually. So Drastic Plastic, we now have all of the Bebop Deluxe studio albums in these deluxe editions so if you haven't checked any of them out go do so i'm hoping the live album is coming up soon i've heard that that might be which is a fantastic live album i can only imagine what kind of bonus stuff they'll put on there but uh it, you know as far as like bonus material this is the best out of all of them and it sounds great both discs sound great you got a ton of bonus shit on here so if you haven't checked it out from esoteric recordings it follows uh, axe victim which came a few months back so the it's interesting how they waited till last for the first and the last. Hopefully the live album will come out and then we've got the whole thing complete. So uh, Drastic Plastic, check it out. This is on the web at www.seatranquility.org. We're on Facebook. We're on Twitter. Of course, we're here on YouTube all the damn time. Coming up tonight, Butch Jones and I will be talking about our favorite guitar riffs of all time. Those opening riffs that just kind of grabbed you by the throat and never let go, right? That's coming up tonight as well as the latest edition of In the Prague Seat. We are doing a show all on ranking our 10 favorite studio albums from Jean-Luc Ponty. So that's coming up tonight as well. So stay tuned for that. Lots more this week. We've got uh, Dream Set List coming up every day for the rest of the week and all the rest of this month. So tomorrow we're going to have it. It'll be airing tomorrow night because we're taping it tomorrow night. It'll be Kiss 
along with Guitar Hack and Jack Toledano. The three of us will be giving you our uh, dream set list for Kiss. we got Cindy Taylor in the house as well coming up tomorrow. We're going to be reviewing that brand new Alice Cooper CD as well as also doing a dream set list for Alice Cooper himself, and that'll be airing on Thursday morning. And then uh, more stuff happening the rest of the week. Martin Popoff on Friday and all sorts of stuff over the weekend, so stay tuned for all of it. Make sure you subscribe, hit the like button, uh, click on that uh, Ko-Fi link if you want to make a donation to the site, and or to the channel, I should say. All your donations are greatly appreciated to help keep the channel going, and we'll see you all later on. Take care. Bye-bye.